Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading for October 16th to October 22nd. This is a weekly love reading. It may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you, so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment. This is for the sign of Gemini. zoom that in for you very quickly basis of your reading is the five of swords okay and the fool okay so it looks like you need to start something fresh this week this is a week of fresh starts um, and I think it's because of some unnecessary tension that you've had in your life tension all right um, I see that there's been some conflicts some disagreements some insecurities some power struggles, you probably had some pretty big life choices this week, Some indis or you're going to have some big life choices, or you have, because this energy timing is fluid. Um, I think that there's some major life changes on the horizon for you, if they, aren't, or if they haven't already happened, okay? It's still happening this week. Um, and it looks like you really are going to have to stay focused, all right? And and keep working on something. Keep uh, working on getting your life back on track. Because I see that's what a lot of the focus is. Is getting your life back on track. I think there was some disheaval um, that, has, that has caused you to um, want to start over. I think that you want to free yourself. Or you have freed yourself from a negative situation. And probably this week you or you already have started over you know you're like you know, I'm starting fresh I'm not gonna do this anymore there's been too many power struggles and I just don't want to be involved in it okay um, I do see that uh, you're moving away you're moving away from uh, conflict um, and, and it's really a victory for you it's a blessing all right I see that like we have this tower card, which is generally a blessing in disguise. All these conflicts, all these power struggles, these major life choices that have come into play uh, recently um, are a blessing in disguise. They, they've taught you some major um, lessons, okay? They have, and I think that you are, you have probably are being very respected for making the choices that you have made, okay? Whether you know it or not, even if it's self-respect. I do believe that it's been hard, and I think that your hard work will pay off, all right? I think that the difficult times are going to end, all right? And I think this week is pretty prominent because I think you're focusing on really getting your life back on track. I, I think there's been some deceit in some way, so you, or you feel like you've been deceived. Um, we have a Scorpio here. We have... Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, that's what we have so far for signs. But I do see that you you um, are probably, you have freed yourself from a situation or you're thinking about walking away from a situation, but you just haven't done it yet because you're comfortably stuck there. Um, now this is for hundreds and thousands of people, so bits and pieces may resonate with you and not the other piece. Many of you are really going through like a life transformation right now where where there's like major life change going on for you um and it's like you you've you've taken a big risk and now you are just moving forward okay and i i see excitement so i think you should be excited for the decisions that you've made i don't don't um don't doubt yourself okay 
Um, I'm going to start shuffling while I'm talking. I think that the decisions that you have made lead to the ultimate happiness, all right? And security. I think things have been insecure, and I think that security is around the corner, okay? Because we have this insecurity on the corner, and this is happiness. So it is around the corner. Perhaps you've been waiting and things hadn't been happening, but you're, I think, you know, things are going to start to change for you. We have death here. And the fool, it looks like things are going to start to change. I think the conflicts and the tension and the instability and the power struggles, you know, they're pretty strong still this week, but I think that you're, you are starting to move away from them, okay? They're starting to move out of your life, put it that way. Now this is for Gemini. So forgiveness, we have forgiveness here, all right, right here. So a forgiveness, and it's here too, so we have forgiveness a couple times. So I think that, you know, you're really, that's going to be your focus this week is forgiving, all right? Something needs to be forgiven, all right? And it might, you might not need to really dig deep to offer this forgiveness, okay? Because I think that there's really been some serious power struggles, serious, all right? Um, with you probably in another person and I think the biggest the biggest way to get through it is to forgive them Not knowing why they did the things they did, you know, just just move forward because you know Everybody has a reason for doing the things they did. I think probably um, Whatever whoever is involved we could have we do have a Libra Gemini Aquarius as well now and we have Virgo we have Scorpio um, whoever else is involved um, they probably need a big change too okay so they this all happened for a reason just just want to tell you we have these fives expect the unexpected that's what fives are and we do have five 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 um, so this all happened for a reason it, there is a blessing here that's coming we have the death card twice. It's because um, there's a transformation needed for more than one person. We have death twice, okay? So you and the other person both needed to learn something, okay? So whoever you're thinking about while I'm giving you this message, um, they needed to learn something too, and you were just part of their part of the plan to help them teach to help teach them, okay? I think, and you know, there could have been some. Um, harsh interactions with somebody okay but I think now it's time to move on okay it's time to move on perhaps you just need to remove yourself from a situation or you already have I think that it's time to just dig deep refocus get your life back on track on track forgive whoever it is that's coming to your mind um, for whatever has happened, for whatever grief they've caused you because somebody has caused you some grief and caused you to put your guard up and have your guard up and probably made you feel insecure, all right? So I do believe that many of you are moving away from that insecure feeling. You're moving away from the power struggles, um, the tension, the conflict, the instability, the insecurity, um, and it's all because... It's time for a transformation. It's time for a change. And the transformation begins once you forgive. That's when your breakthrough starts. That Once you forgive, that's when the happiness comes. All right? So I'm going to get you one of these. This is my Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck. protection like I said you've had your guard up seriously you've been trying to prevent any anything from happening this card has come out because you have been trying to protect your heart from being broken you've been trying to protect whoever it is that comes to mind 
from, or for yourself mainly, I believe it's you mostly for many of you. You guys have been trying to protect yourself from the ultimate um, hurt, okay? This is, this is also um, like your guard. Your guard has been up and I think that this protection card has come out for you to um, understand that you are protected, okay? You're protected by the divine, all right? You are, it's a time of rebirth for you. It really is. It's a time of rebirth. It's a time of transformation. Trust, have faith. Ask your angels for protection. Ask the universe. Ask God. Believe that you are protected. Okay? Let me get this get the meaning here out of the book. But I don't think I need to, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah. Perhaps you've been feeling vulnerable or victimized by the world around you. If so, be mindful of your thinking as your thoughts can attract darkness as well as light. Your experience of life is a reflection of the quality of your thoughts, which drive decisions, actions, and consequences. Draw inspiration from the symbolism represented by the sword. The blade has the power to sever ties that bind you to toxic attachments, relationships, behavior, or situations that no longer serve you. And that's, what, that's what's going on. You're moving away from all these power struggles. The sword, that's what it is. That's why the sword is here. The sword's here to cut the cord. And that's your ultimate protection. When you sever the ties, that's when the ultimate happiness comes. So Gemini, that's what I have. I think this week is about removing removing conflict, okay? And that, that removing conflict comes from forgiveness and protection. Your own protection. You do you create your own protection by severing ties. Okay? And your thoughts. Okay? When you release the thoughts through forgiveness, everything changes. It does. It's the truth. That's when the power struggles, they like dissolve. Because you've forgiven them. They're gone. So Gemini, that's what I have. And thank you for your patience. And I will talk to you later.